season on Dunkley. Jonathan Clark shocked us all with an impressive show. The underdog, Antoine Ball, came close to the title after losing to current Dunkley champion. Guy Dupuis from Paris, who put on an incredible show and took home the cash and the Golden Rim Trophy. We're back! Ten dunkers, 16 competitions, the title, the Golden Rim, and 50 stacks of cold hard cash. This competition is about dedication, attitude, it's an expression, and lifestyle. It's about execution against all odds and the dominance over the impossible. It's on the court, in your face, and back for seconds. This is about the dunk game, never being the same again. This is Dunk League, Volume 2. We've got three dunkers returning from Volume 1. Jonathan Clark, Antoine Ball, and of course, the champ, Guy Dupuis. This leaves us with seven open spots. I got six tickets and a wild card on the line. I'm going to be traveling from Miami to LA with six tickets to get into Duck League for those Dunkers who show up and show out. All right, Miami, it's time to show me what you got. You know what it is, it's your boy Mouthpiece, commissioner of this here Duck League. I got three tickets in my hand. Let's see who has what it takes to get to New York City. Gentlemen, the road to Dunk League starts now. We have three rounds that will test your skills, strength, and stamina. I will be the judge for all three competitions. I can only bring three of you to New York City to compete in Dunk League Volume 2. Round one, speed round. You have four dunks to complete in the fastest time. 360. self lob Off the backboard. And the windmill dunk. You have a three minute time limit. Fastest time wins. Let's get it poppin'. Let's go, CJ. Everybody in Orlando is hoping that you represent. My senior year of high school, we had a faculty game. And I wasn't on the basketball team. I never made the basketball team. I uh, decided to go up for a dunk, and I made it first try. Greatest moment of my life ever, for sure. So I'm just coming here, and this is, this is straight to business now. I want to be at the top level. I want to be up there with these guys. It's no problem. I'll get it over with real quick. Uh, everybody can see how well I do, and then maybe we'll be a little nervous. Who knows? Get money. what I need in my life. You spend hours looking at dunk videos, you take it piece by piece, you slow it down, and you look at things and you think, okay, what can I add to that? Once you come up with things, then you go outside, you lower the rim, and you start practicing, and then as you progress from that, then you try it on the high rims, and if it feels right, then you get it down sometimes. self lob is off the way. Hello! It's a little tougher than I thought. You get winded pretty quick. It's all good, I finish it. See how everybody else does. Here we go next up with that Latin touch all the way from Puerto Rico, that man Isaiah Rivera. My first dunk was awesome. I had this uh, really old hoop. I went up off the dribble and then I dunked it clean. I remember running inside telling my family about it and it was one of the best experiences I've, I've had. As far as the dunk game goes, I want to be the best dunker out there. At the end of the day, you just got to do your, do your thing, do your own dunk, so we'll see how it goes. Get money! How you say, oh my God, in Spanish? Adios mio. My siblings, they got spinal muscular atrophy, so they're bound to a wheelchair. They're always in my mind every time I jump. It just inspires me to keep pursuing this. Hello! 153. <sighs> it's frustrating. That's an easy dunk. Next up. Here comes that man all the way from West Palm Beach, Florida, Peter Olsen. Let's get it poppin'. I was about a sophomore in high school, and I was probably the shortest player. And we are in layup lines for one of our games, and I just rose up, and I dunked it. 
This is the sort of thing that might be a one-time thing if you don't do it right. I'm here to show what I can do. Come on now. Yeah! Most of the guys in this competition I've dunked with before, but it's a totally different dynamic. In the past, we dunked together as friends, and you know, we're all laughing, having a good time. I'm coming here, and I want to kill them on the court. Hello! Off the backboard! You better give me money. And I ain't talking about no counterfeit cheats. That wasn't no windmill, that was a tuck your elbow. Let's get it. Windmill or nothing. Windmill or nothing. It's frustrating. Ah, good try, though. It's not a difficult dunk. It's not my day. Next up, all the way from Durham, North Carolina, that man, Will Button, AKA Stupid Bunnies. My freshman year in high school, that's when I started dunking. And I had a lot of offers from a lot of uh, schools. Things happen with injuries and whatnot, so I'm still trying to find my way to the basketball world professionally. Fucking them tanks out. <laughs> you gotta check the death on his shirt collar. That's official. Dude, he down here with it. I'm, I'm living, I'm living a, a, a tuck collared life. He's living carefree. Hello! Off the backboard is done. Live to yourself. Hello! That windmill is out of the way. Turn my life around. Yes, sir. 40 seconds. Well, I was scared. I thought I was going to make it. Next up, from that home of that red clay, Marietta, Georgia, my man, Jordan Sutherland, AKA Take Off. I hit my first dunk when I was 13, and I was only like five, seven at the time. Once I won my first contest and beat some of the high level guys, I was like, okay, you're not just a flute guy who can do a couple of dunks. Like, you actually are a professional at this. I'm here to prove that I could have came in here last year and won some stuff. Coming from the corners of Georgia. Thank you, sir. This is going to be quick. Self lob in the building. My family in general, they just push me to keep going because I see them go to work every day, go to school every day, doing what they do. I get the luxury to dunk for a living, so for me to not go hard, that, that don't even make sense. Off the backboard, holla at your boy! Here we go, next up, that man all the way from Clearwater, Florida, Tucker Pollard. I think I was like 15, maybe 16 when I dunked the first time. I just did, tossed up an alley-oop to myself, it bounced, and I just went up and got it, threw it down. I'm extremely confident, I know what I'm here to do. I'm ready. Here we go! self lob is done! Oh! Oh! Come on now, Tucker! There you go, windmill, let's go! I'm trying to win this money, I have a son. He's like an identical twin to me, he looks just like me. Need to put him through college. Get to the money, man. Yes, sir! Off the backboard. One more. 360. Do that for that baby. Hell yeah! Oh my God. You gotta take your time and not get too tired. What it was. Get too okay. pumped up, go just focus, so you just gotta slow down. Just knock him in. All the way from Camden, New Jersey. That man, Louis Rivera, AKA the Flying Lion. One day I just seen on TV somebody dunking, and I was just like, I want to do that. So I just kept working on it, kept trying to touch a rim, couldn't touch a rim at all. Then one day I threw it up, caught it, and it just felt so good. Just flushed it. Never underestimate the power of Rivera. I want to be the one to like, have everybody look at me. If somebody could do something, I want to be able to do it better. And I guess that's what I'm bringing into dunking. self lie. All right, he trying to be kind of creative. Trying to knock out two birds with one stone. Time to get money. I see you, money. Off the backboard, no. This ain't going to get you to the dunk league. He be coming in here doing dunking and jumping all everywhere. He been jumping and grabbing all day. Easy. 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 Easy.
everything he had in that windmill in the 2360s. The shirt was weighing him down. 20 more seconds to get this off, man. No. I like when Lewis gets humbled. <laughs> he needs help and energy. Flying lion. Yeah, oh! That's it. They didn't get it so perfect, and I guess I just threw my whole mindset off. I just couldn't get that backward. The winner of round one, four dunks in the speed round. We got Will Button. Let's see who can remain on top. I'm gonna have to see a lot more from the rest of these dunkers if they want to make it to New York City. As you can see, Mother Nature stepped in and tried to ruin our road to the dunk league, but we adapt. So the ball players, we take it inside. Let's get it pop. Here we go with that round two, the human prop round. Each dunker has three attempts to do a dunk that involves a human prop. Dunks can't be repeated. So I hope you got some tricks up your sleeve. In the next round, I'm looking for creativity, style and consistency. And you better remember, go big. I'm the judge, jury, and the commissioner. Coming up first, that man Will Button. Oh. Ah, this is your final attempt. I think he was losing it on the way up. You know, he get it back and bounce back on the next round. I'm just, be all right. Scroll into my face of disappointment right now. You see this? I'm about to start crying once we get off film. Next up is my man, CJ Champion. He said he's finna do what Will Button should have did. Welcome to Miami. You know. Holla back at your boy. I see y'all. He crushed it. I knew he was gonna crush it. And it was good strategy because everybody was gonna do that dunk, so. That's hurt. <laughs> Stiff rim. You gotta get used to it though. You get immune to that. Next up, Peter Olsen. We've been approached by the push-off police. This is your final attempt. Ah! Generally, dunks with props, I don't really practice too much. But that one I've hit before, thought I could pull it out right now, but I don't know. Coming up next, Tucker Pollard. Let's get it! Hey! I see you, money! It's like an unbelievable feeling. It's like you're on top of the world, like nothing can stop you. Next up, that man Luis Rivera, a.k.a. the Flying Lion. You better show me what Camden, New Jersey is like, homeboy. Oh, <laughs> Last attempt. He having some real issues, man. Basically, he in a relationship and they gotta go see a therapist. I don't really personally like jumping over people off the lob, but I wanted to try it. Messed that up, so I just, I knew that wasn't gonna happen for me. So I tried to switch it up to something else. Somebody already did a double up X, couldn't do that. Somebody already did a windmill. So I just tried to double up 360. Never hit it before, but it was worth trying it. Competition. This is every contest I ever lost. This is every contest I ever won. Hopefully, Dunk League will be on this side, right here, and not right here. Next up, that man Jordan Sutherland. I'm cleared for the takeoff. Hello! It is that way, the Atlanta way, the Marietta way. Hey, now with a dab around. Next up in that human prop round, my man Isaiah Rivera. Hello! I'm excited to be honest. <laughs> but it's whatever. I give you what I, what I have. Only four of the seven dunkers completed the human prop challenge. All right now, 
Last round and last chance to build their resume and show me your best ducks. Let's get it poppin'. Now in this round, the finale round, right here for Miami, the freestyle round, 90 second mixtape, we got the man Luis Rivera coming up first. Let's get it, man. Flying Lion, what's good? Ah. We come wrong, we don't come at all. Ah, come on. Get money or go home. I tried to come out, couldn't get nothing good, but whatever, there's always next year. Coming up next, Tucker Pollard, let's get it poppin'. Time to get money. Oh. Hello. I do it for my baby. Yes, sir. Florida's finest. What it do? Ah. Uh, I didn't do everything I wanted to, but I got two in. So, let's see how it goes. Probably won't be enough, but I try my best, so that's all that matters. Next up, that man Peter Olsen. Nice little off the backboard, two handed dunk to himself. West Palm Beach. Nice 360 one handed. I was finally able to get it going last round. I'm pretty happy with that performance. Next up, my man Isaiah Rivera. Here we go. There you go. Get me to the De Niro. NYC. Get ready for the Puerto Rican air bin. I give you what I, what I have. And we're going to see what happens. Next up, that man CJ Champion. Hello! That's how you do fresh out the gate. Give me something to talk about. Doug Lee, get ready. Crown me now. That's fun. I had fun out there. I had fun. My motto is always punch it, right? Jump high and duck hard. Uh, it's like a beating, but it's okay. It's okay. It's bittersweet, right? Next up, got that man Will Bunn. Yes, sir! Come on now! Hello! Oh! Not like I wanted to. Last but not least, my homie, Jordan Sutherland. Hello! Take off! Yes, sir! Give him a round of applause, y'all! Let go! I just want to come to every competition I do, give my all, have mama mentality, come in focus, make my dunks, do what I gotta do to win. Now you see we back outside, Mother Nature done calmed her little weak ass down. Now here comes that part, fellas, when I present you with those envelopes. If you get a ticket, you're flying with me to NYC to compete in Duck League Volume 2. If you get an envelope with money, this is for the cab ride home. First off, that man CJ Champion. And he gets the road to Duck League. I feel like I'm one of those American Idol winners that got their ticket to LA. You know how they run out the doors, meet Ryan Seacrest, they're like, ah! You know, that's that's how I'm feeling right now. Next up, that man Peter Olsen. No! That was my first real contest ever. I got better and better as the contest went on for them. So I'll be back and I'll be better. Next up, Will Button. He had a good run, but in that second and third round, came up a little short. I definitely wanted to win. Uh, didn't work out in my favor, but it's all right, you know? Here's that man, Luis Rivera. All right, fellas, we got two tickets left. Who's it going to be? 
We got some people that never got mail a day before in their life. I guess I wasn't strong enough. They, it just gives me more motivation for next year. Next up, receiving an envelope, that man, Jordan Sutherland. Always people trying to climb the ladder, so you gotta take your spot. To be the best, you have to be the best, so that's, that's how I look at it. With the last two envelopes, two dunkers that came with it and did their best right here in Miami. I got my man Isaiah Rivera and that man Tucker Pollard. And here's your two envelopes, fellas. He did his thing, so, I mean, it was a good experience. I enjoyed it. I was nervous. I didn't know if I was going to make it or not. I'm going to be in the gym now. I know what to work on. Uh, thing, I, I have a rough idea of what I need to prepare for. And, yeah, I just got to get ready, put in a lot of work, and stay healthy, and get to New York. It's going to be fun. Can't wait. From Miami, we got CJ Chip, Jordan Sutherland, and Isaiah Rivera heading to New York City with me for Dunk League Volume 2. Next up, Los Angeles. For me, it's kind of simple. I just think jump higher than everybody else. And I want to mark my territory. Well, you can fly, then let's fly, baby. That's what we're here for. When it's money on the line, it's no friends. This is Dunk League.